Okay, students, welcome to question number 61, yeah, for your rates of change. So, um, there's a diagram here, and generally the ones with diagrams are, well, probably harder <laughs> for rates of change. So, um, let's have a look at the question. It says, the volume of a cylinder with radius R and height H is 400 pi. So, now, volume is 400 pi centimeter cubed. So, I'm just going to write 400 pi. And uh, let's look at the question. A says, show that the area of the closed cylinder, A centimeter square is equals to, um, okay, so you're going to show that A is equals to 2 pi R square plus 800 pi over R. Okay, right, so they say show, yeah, so you're just, you're just going to have to prove it, uh, that A is this, you're going to have to end up with this. Lah. Okay, first, uh, you must notice this. When they ask you for volume or area, you are expected to be able to remember the formula for the volume and area of a cylinder. Or it could be a sphere, or it could be a cone, <laughs> it could be a cube or a cuboid. So what you have learned last time in Form 3, all these formulas are given in exam, but not in AdMath. In AdMath, the formulas that are given are only AdMath formula. These are not AdMath formula, these are considered a uh, modern math formula. So you have to remember the volume of a cylinder and the area of a uh, closed cylinder. So uh, if you don't, then you cannot do this question at all <laughs> in exam. Yeah. Okay. Volume for cylinder is uh, pi r square h and area. So now we're interested in looking for the area, right? So I'm going to start doing it here. Uh, let's write it here. Area of a closed cylinder means there's a surface down here and there's a surface on top. So it's 2 pi r square. Uh, that's for these two. Yeah. And uh, for the curved surface area, it's plus. Plus the curved surface area is 2 pi r h. I will not explain how this comes into being. Uh, this belongs to uh, form 3 math. Okay. So just uh, you just have to remember this. Area is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. And... Um, Okay, so do you notice their area? You notice something or not? What is the difference between their area, the one you're supposed to show, and the one that you just did? There is no H, correct? No, there's no H here. So it means that you have to find a way to get rid of the H in order for you to answer the question. Okay, in order to, for, for you to answer question A, you got to find a way to substitute H with R because the only unknown here is R. So how do you substitute H with R? It will have to come from the information given. The information given to you is a V is equal to 400 pi. So use the formula for volume now. The formula for volume is pi R square H is equal to 400 pi. Now, can you see there's a H here? You need to make H the subject. So let's make H the subject. That is 400 pi over pi r square. So cut off the pi. H is 400 over r square. Now you can substitute this into the H here. That's how you get rid of the H. Because this H is in terms of R. If you substitute, you would have gotten rid of the H. And in place, you have R instead, which will give you this answer. So let's do it. So 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h is 400 over r square. So cut off the r and the r. So that's 2 pi r square plus 2 times 400 is 800 pi. On top is 800 pi and there's an r at the bottom. Yeah. So over r. There you go. Shown. Okay. So can you see the way I explain and the line of thoughts that you should have, yeah? The line of thought that you should be having is this. What you have, there's an H there. What you're supposed to show does not have a H. So then automatically your brain should be thinking, how am I supposed to get rid of the H then? I've got to find a way to substitute H with R. So that will come from the information given. And from the information, I use H as the subject, then I can substitute it. Then I would have gotten rid of the H. Can you understand? Learn the method that I teach you, the way you should be thinking and not just uh, remember it or not just, you know, just learn it like that, okay? If, you, if you're good, you pick up on the method that I teach you on how to think, you should be able to answer different questions on your own next time without coaching. Yeah, you should be able to think in the correct uh, logical manner. 
All right, so um, that's for 61A, yeah? Let's look at 61B. 61B says, if the area of the cylinder decreases at a rate of 100, okay, so this is your rate of change, yeah? Because the moment they say decreases at a rate of what, 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 or increase at a rate of what, immediately you should know they're talking about rate of change. Okay, uh, rate of change. So let's do B here. 61B. Okay, they say the area decreases. So D, A, D, T, and pay attention. Here is something that I need you to pay attention. When they say decrease at a rate of 100, you have to put negative 100. If you forget the negative, then your answer will be wrong. Just remember this, yeah? Okay, so D, A, D, T is negative 100. Find the rate of change in its radius. So that means you are looking for D, R, D, T. Right, the rate of change in its radius is the difference of rate or uh, difference of radius over time. Find the rate of change in its radius when the radius is 10 centimeter, when r is 10 centimeter. So you've got the two things now, and remember the third d something d something comes from where? Comes from the formula, the area formula, because you've given dA dt, which is the area, so it will come from this. Oh, or the one you found just now. So from there, you get your DA, DR, right? DA, DR. So you just differentiate this as usual. That's 4 pi R. Now remember how to differentiate this. Now the R is at the bottom, so it's actually a negative 1. So that becomes negative 800 pi over, that will, should become R power negative 2, right? So that's R square. Okay, so now you're done with the three things. Form your chain rule okay this and this and this form your chain rule look for something at the bottom and at the top uh, can you see this dr and dr okay so that's how you're gonna do your chain rule da dr this one multiply with dr dt this one and if you cut off the dr dr you will get da dt which is the one on top okay now substitute the things inside carefully. You should be able to get your answer without any problem. So let's look at it. DA, DR is uh, 4 pi R. You can straight away put in when R is 10, right? It would have been given. That's 4 pi R minus 800 pi over R is 10. That's for DA, DR, yeah? Put a big bracket. Times DR, DT, which is your unknown equals to da dt which is 100 okay so count this first count this first and then shift it over to get 100 divided by whatever answer that you get over here okay so uh, i noticed the there's a small little mistake here that's 100 yeah because this is r square over here so this should be 100 okay so let's cut this off that is 40 pi minus 8 pi so that's 32 pi over here multiplied with dr dt should equal to, and I forgot there's a, uh, a 100 over here, there's a negative 100, so equals to negative 100. So now your dr dt, I'm going to write it over here, yeah. dr dt should equal to negative 100 over 32 pi. And if you press your calculator, just press your calculator, um, negative 100 divided by 32 pi, you get negative 0 0.995 centimeter per second because that's the change of radius per second. Okay, so that is how you answer uh, this particular question. Yeah, I hope it's uh, it's clearer. Uh, now, in exam, very often the questions are actually like this, uh, problem solving with a picture. With a picture, it can be a cone, can be a sphere, can be a prism, can be a cuboid. Um, and you are, they can ask you about volume or area interchangeably. Yeah. So, But the method and the concept to do should be the same. All right. And sometimes you're required to remove one of the unknown. Like in this case, to find the area, you have R and H. You've got to substitute one of them with the other one. Okay, and I've taught you the method, so I hope that you are clearer on this area. Yeah, now in the next video, we're going to do questions 62 and 63. They are both SPM uh, pass year question. All right, I'll see you then.